These are some of my favorite cookies to make. Uh, they're a jumbo chocolate chip cookie that's chewy. They're a little bit crispy on the outside, but ooey gooey on the inside. They're really super easy to make. Yeah, there's not many ways you can go wrong with them. Just need to be a little bit careful baking them. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, so to make these cookies, we're going to need three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a tablespoon baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, 16 tablespoons, that's two sticks of unsalted butter, melted and cooled. Yeah, you heard it. Uh, one and a quarter cups of packed light brown sugar. Isn't that cute? And uh, what do we got here? Half cup of granulated sugar, two eggs and two egg yolks. I've got a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then I've got one bag of semi-sweet chocolates and then some. You decide on the then some, okay? Okay. Now let's get this mixing. Okay, so I've got the stand mixer out. You could do this by hand. I just uh, just want to do it by the stand mixer today. Um, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to mix the take the flour and mix in the uh, baking soda and the salt. All right, and we're just going to get a fork, mix that in a bit. You can whisk them together too. Just get it pretty good mixed. And then we're going to set that aside. Okay, just set that aside for now. We'll add that later. But get, just kind of get those combined. All right, the next thing we're going to do with the uh, Cuisinart here, the stand mixer, we're going to need to start with the paddle attachment. If you have it, you can follow along. Otherwise, um, a hand mixer, you know, would work great too for this. And uh, we're going to... Basically, we're gonna uh, cream together the sugars and the butter. Okay. So, first gonna pour them in here. Let's get the white sugar in there first. Brown sugar, plump. And the butter. And I don't know, if you don't have any silicone spatulas in your kitchen, get you some, because I use them like crazy. I love them. For stuff like this, I can just get, it's a little weird tipping into there sometimes, but I can get all of the butter out of there pretty much. Every last drop of that 16 ounces of butter. <laughs> okay. And it is important you melt it and cool it. The, the butter temperature uh, matters in terms of what, how the end eggs turn out. Um, I also have the eggs, we'll, we'll talk about it in a minute. The eggs were sitting at, at room temperature too. Uh, you want your butter and your eggs to be about the same temperature. But, okay, so let's just beat this for a minute or two. Medium speed. Helps if I plug it in. All right, we're gonna beat this for about two minutes on medium speed. Okay, so I had to turn the machine off for a second so I could talk. Next, we're going to beat in the, the eggs, the egg yolks, and the vanilla, kind of one at a time here. Scrape down the edges if it stuff needs to be. Needs to be added to the party here, okay. Back to the last egg yolk. And the vanilla. All right, I'm doing that just till it's combined. I wanna make sure you can see there it's, it's just all come together as one color, basically. Okay, well now I'm gonna take the whisk off anyways. Okay, come on. I'm gonna lose any of that goodness. Okay, and I'm gonna use next uh, attachment. Come on here. Come on. Equipment problem, okay. Uh, 
And then what I'm gonna put on is a paddle attachment. And by the way, I really like this one. This came with a, a, a paddle attachment that was a lot like this, but this one added this, I believe it's silicone, um, kind of fin and it scrapes the bowl as it goes around and it doesn't miss stuff like the other one did. So I really like this one. If I can find it, I'll put a link in the bottom. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put this up and I'm just gonna put this on low, just kind of the first setting here. And I'm gonna mix in my flour, kind of bit by bit. I don't wanna put too much in at once. Run it. Then I'm gonna add in the uh, one bag of chocolate chips. Oh, a little bit of flour. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stop it. And this is good practice to, when you're baking in general, especially with cookies, keep the sides scraped down. You end up with a more even dough at the end. The sides can like kind of just grab onto this buttery doughy stuff and like you end up with cookies with no chocolate chips or something horrible like that. So let's just, let's just scrape down the side. Don't be in a hurry. All right, back on stir. One bag of chips and then some. Right, that's a, I'm not gonna let it go too much more than that. I just want the chocolate chips sort of in there. Okay. I'm put my cookie dough into a bowl. And these spatulas are so nice. Notice I have a bigger one now. But it's, it's nice to have little ones and big ones depending on what you're doing. Pour this out into a bowl. And honestly, I'm just putting it in a smaller bowl because I don't want to take up too much room in the fridge because this is going to go in the fridge overnight. And uh, could easily just put this in there. There's just, I don't think there's enough room. Okay, then I'm just going to cover this with plastic wrap. So, although my grandma used to just wrap it, the whole thing up in plastic wrap. She made like a little ball, but I'm putting it in a bowl. Thanks, Bella. I'm sure grandma was right. And that goes in the fridge overnight. We'll see you tomorrow where we'll uh, put them out and we'll bake them. We'll make actual cookies. Okay, so it's the next day. And we're gonna get some of the cookie dough onto the cookie sheet. Um, it's nice and cold, it's been refrigerated all night. And what we're looking for is about a quarter cup of dough. We could weigh it out too, but basically sort of Bigger than a golf ball, but smaller than a racquetball, if you will. That's about what I go with. Okay, and while I'm doing this, the oven has been preheating at 300. And we're gonna put them in there about 25 minutes total. Um, I do about 12 minutes and 12 is usually about right. But let's, okay, we got five of them on there. I like to leave the middle one with more room, like rather than doing six, because the corners cook faster, the middle cooks a little bit slower. So it kind of needs more room around it to um, do well. All right, and let's uh, get these into the oven, 300, and we'll check them in 12 minutes. All right, there they go. Okay, we're halfway through cooking. Uh, let's give them a little flip here. This is just to make sure they cook really nice and evenly. And I always like to do this gently. I just don't wanna disturb the, you know, what I'm baking. All right, there we go. It's halfway through, we'll do another 12 minutes or so and um, pull them out, see what they look like. Okay, so it's been just about 24 minutes total. Let's take these guys out and see how they look. Okay, I think this is just about right. Gentle, gentle. Oh, these are a little overdone here. Maybe a couple of them are. Okay, so 
They're not done yet. They need to sit here for another 10 minutes, but I want to show you what we're looking for. This one looks the best. It's kind of cooked around the edges, but the middle is still kind of poofing up. This one went a little long. This one went a little long. These two are okay. I mean, they're still going to taste great. Don't get me wrong. But sitting here now for 10 minutes, um, they'll, they'll continue cooking a little bit, and then this middle will settle down, and it'll, this will just... This is sort of a trick to help keep them, you know, nice and chewy. So we need 10 minutes and they'll be done, basically. We'll do another batch. Okay, here are the results. You can see the smaller cookies got a bit more done, but they're all going to taste great. Let me know what results you get in the comments. Until next time, happy baking.